and girls, children of all ages. Welcome to Robert's Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. Ring of Honor, 16th anniversary show this Friday on ringofhonor.com, on the Fight TV app, and on pay-per-view. Um, we'll be watching the show. Um, I've been to the 9th anniversary show of Ring of Honor in Chicago. So I've been a Ring of Honor fan off and on for a while. Um, getting back into Ring of Honor here re more recent, watching all the TV tapings this year so far, watching a few shows on the Fight TV app. So the first match we have is Flip Gordon versus Hir Hiromu Taka Takahashi. Hiromu Takahashi. <laughs> um, New one of New Japan's finest. Uh, Flip Gordon and him have kind of had a few matches uh, together this year. Uh, they are at, right at New Japan Pro Wrestling Rising Japan Day 1. Flip won a three-way that involved Takahashi and Takahuchi. And then on in Rising Japan Day 2, he uh, was a tag team with... Uh, I believe it was Taguchi, and he lost to uh, Takahashi and B Bushi. So I have Flip Gordon winning that. Next, we have the Ring of Honor six-man tag championships on the line and a Las Vegas street fight. We have the Young Bucks, the current six-man tag team champions, um, which is Adam Page and then uh, Max or um, Nick and Matt Jackson, the Young Bucks, versus uh, Soak. SoCal Uncensored, which is Christopher Daniels, Kazarian, and Scorpio Sky. Current champions, the Young Bucks, they've held the titles 196 plus days so far. With the contracts of SoCal Uncensored, Daniels, and Kaz ending, what, 300 some days, I believe, at the end of the year. I think they're going to, they're just keeping that going, that storyline, so I think they'll win here. So I have SoCal and Centered winning the uh, six-man tag titles. Next, in a grudge match for Cody's ring, we have Matt Taven versus Cody. I guess somewhere, I don't know what show it happened on, maybe it was late last year, where Matt Taven stole Cody's ring and has been flaunted. So this is a grudge match, I guess, for the ring, or the loser kisses the ring, or something. Uh, Cody does have a singles victory over Matt Taven, so I have actually have Matt Taven winning here. Part of the kingdom, uh, the leader of the kingdom, Matt Taven. Next, we have a number one contender match for the, for a uh, championship ma match for the Ring of Honor Championship. We have Punishment Martinez versus the villain, Marty Scroll. Punishment Martinez has lost... Two TV title matches he was in, and he also lost a world title match he was in against Dalton Castle. Marty Scroll, part of the Bullet Club, uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling. I actually have Marty Scroll winning this because I think and whomever wins the Ring of Honor Championship at the 16th anniversary, either Dalton Castle or Jay Lethal, a match against Marty Scroll would be freaking phenomenal. Um, so I have Money Scroll winning that. Next, we have the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championship on the line. Two of the original teams in Ring of Honor. We have the champions, the Motor City Machine Guns, Detroit Proud, Chris Saban and Alex Shelley versus the Briscoes, Jay and Mark Briscoe. Eight time. Eight time. Time. Ring of Honor Tag Team Championships. Jay Briscoe has won the world title. Mark Briscoe has been, I thought he was TV champion, I have to look it up. But these guys have won titles all over the world. Former IWGP Tag Team Champions. Um, the Guns currently have held the title. The 15th longest tag title run in Ring of Honor history at 166 days. There's been 49 tag team reigns. Briscoe's eight-time champions. They actually hold two of the top 14 longest reigns as champion. They've held the titles for a total of 807 days. Mark R.J. Briscoe's first Ring of Honor match was February 23rd, 2002. 
Gene, uh, Chris Saban's first Ring of Honor match, June 14th, 2003. There's only been two previous meetings between the Machine Guns and the Briscoes, which is actually pretty shocking to me there's only been two. But I guess the Motor City Machine Guns were off in TNA for a while, and then Jay had his long singles run when he was world champion, when, they, when the Guns first returned. Um, actually, it's 1-1. The Machine Guns won one, the Briscoes won one. The last time the Briscoes held the Ring of Honor World Tag Titles, December 16th, 2012. It's been five years plus since the Briscoes won the Ring of Honor World Tag Champ titles. I have the Briscoes beating the Machine Guns. I think this one would be a match of the year candidate, actually. Um, I'm truly looking forward to Punishment Martinez and Marty Scroll. I think Matt Taven and Cody should be fairly well. I think uh, Flip Gordon and Taka Takahashi would be good. Uh, yeah, Young Bucks and SoCal and Center could be really good in that Las Vegas street fight. The main event, the Ring of Honor Championship. We have champion Dalton Castle versus Jay Lethal, former Ring of Honor champion. There's been 24 different championship, 24 different champions in Ring of Honor history. Only two people have ever won multiple championships. Austin Aries is a two-time champion. Adam Cole, baby, is a three-time champion. No one else has ever won more than one. Jay Lethal has a chance to become only the third person to win a multiple-time multiple champion. Out of those 24 different champions, 13 currently work for WWE or have worked for WWE. Ring of Honor is a stepping stone to the WWE. Do I see Jay Lethal or Dalton Castle, either one, going to WWE anytime soon? I hope Dalton Castle doesn't. He's I. He's not my fave. Um, but Jay Lethal, though, I mean, I, I like what he's doing. Um, I've always been a fan of his. So, I had Jay Lethal winning the Ring of Honor World Championship and becoming a two-time, two-time Ring of Honor Champion. Alright, that will wrap up the preview of the Ring of Honor 16th Anniversary Show. As always, stay tuned to Robert Sports Show for the preview, or the review right after the show. Um, for the NASCAR Ticket Guardian 500 preview from Phoenix. A lot of videos on Robert Sports Show this month. Hopefully, we'll have the road to WrestleMania. We'll have the March Madness NCAA Tournament. We'll have Pro Wrestling March Madness. So, on Selection Sunday, on March 11th, I will be putting up Pro Wrestling March Madness. Basically, I'm taking the top 64 from the PWI 500 from last fall. And I am doing brackets just like NCAA. We'll have the East, the West, the uh, Midwest, and the South. And the top four in the, uh, for the, uh, uh, yeah, top four of the PWI 500 will be my number one seeds. So, for instance, the East number one seed would be Okada, who was the number one overall. <clears throat> the number one in the West would be AJ Styles, who was number two in the PWI 500. Kevin Owens would be number one in the South. Roman Reigns is number one in the Midwest. The 16 seeds would be Luke Harper in the East, Trevor Lee in the West, uh, Hiroki Goto in the South, and Brian, the Brian Kendrick in the Midwest. To learn the rest of it, stay tuned to the Pro Wrestling March Madness Selection Sunday Show on March 11th. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show, and don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channel content.